Now, I don't know about you, but I have, there are lots of situations in my life that I wish I could go back and do them over again. There are lots of situations where I wish I could go back and, and just redo those moments. Life is full of mistakes. And if we can turn those mistakes into lessons, then that's how we grow, evolve, and get better. Welcome back to the Therapist React series. If this is your first time here, this is where we cover what's going on in the news and see what lessons we can learn from these stories and what psychological aspects should stand out to us. In this episode, we're going to talk about Jonathan Majors. Now, Jonathan Majors is a really popular actor whose career was on a massive upswing when he was recently arrested, tried, and convicted for some charges related to an incident that happened with him and his then girlfriend. And I want to dive into that story a little bit to see what we can learn from what's going on here. Jonathan Majors was out one night with his girlfriend, Grace Jabari, and they got into an altercation. Now, apparently this altercation started when he got a suggestive text message from another woman and they started an altercation in the back seat of an SUV. Uh, she tried to get out of the SUV, in fact, successfully did get out of the SUV. He picked her up and forcibly put her back into the SUV and they did not allow her to get back out in an altercation ensued. Now, all of this is captured on video and this is really, really bad. And he eventually was convicted of two counts of harassment and one count of assault. He was acquitted of some other kind of more serious charges related to this incident. And uh, it created a really, really big deal in the life of Jonathan Major. Now, I will say kind of a side note, several years ago, about a decade ago, actually, there was another incident, a uh, domestic violence incident or, or a physical altercation between a romantic couple, a guy named Ray Rice. And they were at a casino, Ray Rice and his girlfriend, uh, maybe even wife at the time. Actually, I think girlfriend, I think they got married later. Uh, but they were at, at a casino and in a uh, elevator, Ray Rice punched her in the head and knocked her unconscious. And then there's a video of him picking her up and carrying her out of the um, uh, elevator. Now, the reason I bring this up is because whenever a crime is captured on video, in particularly when it is a man being physical with a woman, it makes the situation exponentially worse. Now, back then, when Ray Rice did this incident, the video was not immediately released. So he was not in a whole lot of trouble. He was suspended. He was a, an NFL running back, and he was suspended for like two games or four games or some short suspension. And then when the video got released, he was suspended indefinitely and then ultimately never played uh, professional football again. We need to remember that we live in a world where everyone has these devices in their hands. We live in a world where there are security cameras everywhere. Somebody recently talked to me about how many crimes are solved because of neighbors having ring doorbells. We need to remember that everything is on video. So anything that you do is going to be captured on video. And when it's captured on video, it looks way worse. It makes the situation way worse, in particularly when we're talking about physical incidents between a man and a woman. At the time of this incident, you could make the argument that Jonathan Major was the single most up-and-coming actor in Hollywood. He had three major movies that were out at the time. Uh, one of them was Creed oh, 3, uh, which was a movie uh, in, the, in the kind of Rocky series, and he played the Captain Hart in that movie. The second one was a movie called Devotion. And then the third one, not necessarily a movie, wasn't about him, but he was, he was the main adversarial character in the Marvel series, playing a character called Kang. And he was going to be a center point in the next phase of the Marvel movies. When since this conviction, he has been dropped from those Marvel movies literally the same day Marvel announced that they were letting him go and he was no longer going to play Kang, and now his career is in complete and total jeopardy. You think you'll ever work in Hollywood again? Yeah, yeah, I do. I pray I do. But it's, uh, it's God's plan and God's timing. Just like Ray Rice, who never played professional football again, once there's a video of these incidents, it's hard to shake them. And it is not uh, out of the question that Jonathan Majors may never work in Hollywood again, which is a massive stain on someone that was once the most up and coming actor in Hollywood at all. Like totally, he was literally the most up and coming actor in Hollywood when this incident started. 
Now, Jonathan Major recently did his first public interview and he expressed regret about this situation. And he was specifically asked, was there anything about this situation that he wished he could take back? Like, is there anything about this situation he regretted? If he could do the night over again, is there anything he would do differently? And he said, I wouldn't have picked her up. I wouldn't have picked her up. I wouldn't have put her back in the car. I wouldn't have tried to keep her in the car. I would have gotten out that car and ran immediately. I wouldn't have picked her up and I, I would have left the situation. And I thought about that as I watched this interview and, and I thought two things. We are not perfect. Like you are going to make mistakes. And it is hard for me to characterize physically putting your hands on another person, and particularly a woman when you are a big, strong male. Uh, it is hard for me to char characterize not allowing a woman to leave a situation, especially when you're a big, strong male, as a mistake. Um, this was a real troubling situation, and I want to give it its justifiable due. I also want to acknowledge that this also highlighted a pattern. Other people in Jonathan Major's life had said he had treated them in similar ways. There were people on set that said he had been um, angry and aggressive with them. There were people in his past dating experiences that said that he was not the greatest boyfriend he could have been. So I want to acknowledge that um, it, I don't want to sound dismissive when I refer to it as a mistake. But I also want to acknowledge that we are not perfect, he is not perfect, and he did say if he could do it all over again, he wouldn't have physically picked her up and he wouldn't have forced her to stay, and he would have ran, he said. Not only would he have left, but he would have ran. Now, I don't know about you, but I have, there are lots of situations in my life that I wish I could go back and do them over again. There are lots of situations where I wish I could go back and, and just redo those moments. Life is full of mistakes, and if we can turn those mistakes into lessons, then that's how we grow, evolve, and get better. There is not a single person who does not make mistakes, and these mistakes become opportunities for us to learn and grow and continue to get better. Now, I don't know Jonathan Major, but I genuinely hope that he learns and grows from these mistakes and gets better. I also want to say, none of us are entitled to success. Um, like, I, I was a fan of Jonathan Major. I'm a big Marvel fan, and I love these movies. I didn't know anything about him or his history until the situation came out, but I'm definitely a fan of Marvel movies, and I'm also a fan of people. So I would love to see him get a second chance and benefit from that second chance. But we are not entitled to that. Just like the Ray Rice situation where he never played football again, Jonathan Major may never, ever act in Hollywood again. And he was not entitled for the first opportunity, so he shouldn't... He, he shouldn't also be entitled to the second opportunity. But should he get it, I hope he remembers the lesson and I hope he behaves with a little bit more gratitude and a little bit more kindness for people, even when they are bothering him or upsetting him. Uh, you have no right to treat people poorly. Uh, again, we're humans when you do apologize and move on, but should Jonathan Major get a second chance, I hope he behaves in such a way that he doesn't put it in jeopardy once again. I think another important part of this story were some of the text messages uh, that came out. Now, when Jonathan was asked about um, domestic violence in this interview, he said he has never been the perpetrator of uh, domestic violence, but he has been a witness to it. He's been the recipient of it while growing up on a farm in Texas. And some of what he said resonated with me because some of the text messages said like, I'm a monster and I wanna take my life and I, maybe I don't wanna be here anymore. I do wanna say like, we can't expect people to come from environments of abuse, of neglect, of harsh treatment and behave with softness and kindness. Um, there is some significant healing that Jonathan Majors would have to go through just because of what he witnessed while growing up. We cannot expect everybody to grow up in an environment where they got everything they needed in order to be loving, kind human beings. Now, he should still be held accountable for that, but we also need to behave with grace and compassion because his environment was not conducive to growing up in a wonderful, positive experience, and thus he behaved in uh, very, very poor ways 
which in some sense is understandable. We can only behave from which the environment in which we were reared. Uh, Jonathan Majors needs therapy, he needs help, he needs healing so that he can uh, be a better version of himself. Uh, these text messages are very horrible where he says he's not capable of love and he thought about giving his life back as in ending his life. He thought about himself as a monster. Um, and that's hard because a lot of times when we make mistakes, for, for people who grew up like that, it's kind of like a value statement of who they are and what they're capable of. So if you genuinely view yourself as a monster and you genu genuinely don't view yourself as capable of love or kindness, it's not that hard to see how some people would take the extra step to taking their lives or at least being desirous of it. In the interview, he did say he doesn't feel like that anymore. So maybe he is getting the help and the healing that I just said that he needed. Uh, I certainly hope that he is because that's a necessary step in order for him to become the human that he needs to become. Now, just because he didn't get it in his childhood, it doesn't mean that he can't find it in life. It just means he's got to do some healing in order to do so. I think one of the most important skills that we have to have as human beings, uh, because we all make mistakes, and, and sometimes those mistakes involve us harming people we love and care about, we have to have the ability and capacity to forgive ourselves. Uh, and I genuinely hope Jonathan Major will forgive himself. Uh, I don't know that he's going to get another acting job, but I don't know that he's going to continue to make millions of dollars and all those things. Who, who knows? But I do hope he lives a happy, satisfying life from this point forward. And in order to do that, he's going to have to learn some level of self-forgiveness. And he needs to not measure his happiness based upon his future success. I've, I've, I know a lot of people for whom like their career and how much money they make and their professional accomplishments become their identity. But that should not be your identity because if it's taken away from you, then you lose your sense of self. I hope that he finds happiness, joy, love, peace, no matter what he does going forward, whether or not he continues to be a working, successful actor or not. And in doing so, I hope he can rehabilitate himself, maybe rehabilitate his career, but I hope he can genuinely rehabilitate himself so that he can forgive himself for the things that led him into the situation and go forward living a happy, healthy life. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from it. If so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button and then hit the bell so you get notified each time we release a video here in this series. And also share this video with your friends and leave a comment below because I would love to hear your thoughts on this story. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.